and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, y'all sit down, get yourself comfortable. This is going to be the one of the most incredible shows. I've got somebody that I have just, I have adored for years. I have, in all transparency, I've had opportunities to work with her on two separate occasions, and it has just elevated the experience each and every time I have had an opportunity to, to work with her. And to have her on the show today, is just elevating my day and beyond. So guys, y'all give it up for none other than the Patty Rodriguez. Ah, thank you, Gary. <laughs> it's so great to be here. Thank you. What a, nice, oh my God. what a nice welcome. Oh, I'm so glad to have you on the show. And, and Patty, I want to give you a chance to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it this morning, Gary. I'm like, okay, how long have Gary and I known each other? We <laughs> took her a while and it's right? really exciting to watch the growth that we've had in our careers and in our families and to see it kind of come full circle. I've been very excited to see some of uh, the things that have happened for you over these past few years, but let me take us back a little bit. You know, I started um, in the multifamily, uh, res you know, the resident side of the business, probably, uh, gosh, it has been 30 years now. Next year, it'll be 30 years. I know, I started as a little baby leasing consultant and I kind of worked my way up um, right. uh, throughout the years. And it's just been really interesting to see the direction that life has taken me. Um, and as I have grown in my career, uh, I went from leasing consultant into um, more of a, a corporate position where I worked on operations for a while, loved it, loved working with our residents on site. Um, and really gained a, a depth of knowledge in our industry that really helped uh, catapult me into another area, which I certainly love, which is the talent and development or learning and development, whichever. Uh, so I would say probably these past 20 years, I've been in the talent development side of our business. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I've worked for a few companies that have just given me the opportunity to grow, but not only to grow, but to connect with individuals that have helped my growth. So, um, so right now I work for a company named Heinz of uh, Real Estate Investments, and we're an international company. So not only have I learned about multifamily over the years, but we've even branched even farther into the commercial side of business and, and all of that. So it's pretty exciting and, and fun um, uh, on a daily basis. Yeah. That's awesome. It just sounds like all these adventures just continue mm -hmm. to happen and you just, you just go on these adventures and you benefit from them. Yeah. And, and I've, you know, again, I've seen you uh, for over the years and I've seen you continue, continuously grow and it's just it's been inspiring and, and patty you've been one of those inspiring leaders for me and i always love to connect with them and just take a peek behind the curtains to see what inspires these incredible inspiring leaders and so patty i reached out to you and asked you hey what inspires you and you sent back two powerful notes for me and the first one i want to jump into is people you shared people inspire you. And so I'd love for you to kind of expand that, unpack that. What does that mean to you? Let us know how people inspire you. People fascinate me. Uh, <laughs> and I will tell you the, the salt of the earth people, you know, making reference to a very uh, great book that I've read recently, <laughs> um, the salt of the earth people. And when you can identify who those salt of the earth people are in the crowd, you naturally want to gravitate toward them because they have something very unique and special that um, you kind of want. And so for me, the inspiration that comes from individuals who have, have learned and grown and have become successful in what it is that they do, their natural talent, um, I sit back and I'm like, wow, that is really cool. That is, that is someone I can learn from. That is someone I can grow from. And, you know, for many, for many people that I've observed, I didn't wear a, a badge that said I'm a mentor or I'm a leader. You know, I, I didn't know if they were uh, a leader, an official leader with a, with a, a name tag that said it or a business card that said it. <laughs> But you can tell when somebody truly is um, a natural leader 
and you gravitate toward them and you build relationships with them. And so I've been very fortunate over the years to have some great leaders in my life that, um, you know, I kind of go back to, I know you've heard of this before, Gary, that 70, 20, 10, uh, philosophy about growing and learning that, you know, many of us think, oh, it's the next class that I need to take, or it's the next certification that I need to get. Those are helpful to, mm -hmm. to give you some basic knowledge. But when you break down that 70, 20, 10, 70% 70 of your growth and knowledge is really just getting yourself in the mix of doing something, whether you fail at it or whether you succeed at it. It's an experience that you will take with you and you will learn and you will grow from it. 20% of your learning comes from connecting yourself with the right people. And I have learned more by connecting myself with the right people in my career than any course I could have taken or any book I could have read. Those are great. They're little nuggets that you can take along the way. But when you connect with the right people, those particular individuals will be in your life forever. They will be in yeah. your life forever. And, um, and some of the people that have influenced me and helped me along the way, I often remind them of that. You know, I have someone that hired me into the industry that I am, that I'm in. And um, in front of our groups of friends, I will, I will remind her in front of others the impact that she's had on my life and the lessons that she's taught me that she was able to separate her friendship from being my, my 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 supervisor because she cared about me and wanted me to grow so those people those are the ones that you want in your corner they're the mm -hmm. ones that are going to be there for you as you grow and you can always turn back to them and say Hey, you know, had this situation happen? What are your thoughts on this? Because you respect their opinion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. And Patty, so there's so many great things that you you've shared with us about the people. And you know, for me, one of them is you have to have awareness of the people around you to be able to recognize, as you call it, those salt of the earth people. And then I agree with you when you find those those people around you, whether they have the official title on their business card or not, you know, but they, if they exhibit that salt of the earth or that leadership quality, you just, you naturally gravitate to those individuals. And it's, it's such a neat, you know, when you have that awareness and you recognize those individuals and you start studying those individuals and then you start connecting uh, with those individuals. And it's, you know, I like what you said, the 720, 70, 2010 rule is you got to get in the room to be able to meet these individuals. And yes. when you do meet those individuals, you form a relationship with them, yes. you know, but it takes action on your part it does. to make those things happen. It does. You know, it's a process, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think with any success story, there's a process behind it. You know, we don't just automatically start from square one and then boom, we're at the the very end of, okay, I've got success next week. You know, it <laughs> takes a process. It's about yeah. bringing the right people into your circle. Mm -hmm. And it's about um, having the courage to connect with certain people. You yeah. know, courage is a big thing. And, you know, and sometimes we have a tendency to not want to step forward because we're afraid of an outcome that probably doesn't even exist. So oh, good. So good. The courage just to ask. And just if you find that individual be through your awareness and you're like, oh my God, this person I could learn from, just go ask. Like Patty said, have the courage just to go up and say, hey, I'd like to connect with you. Yes. Whatever that looks like, whatever that process unfolds to be, but you have to have that courage. Patty, I love how you shared that. That's yes. so good. So good. So Patty, you also shared your second point of inspiration is education. And I know this is near and dear to your heart as well. So tell us what that means to you. How does education inspire you? You know, it's funny, my career ended up going in a totally different direction than what I had originally uh, gone to school for. And so my degree is in the performing arts. 
<laughs> it's an acting, it's an improv, it's in all of those, those areas. But starting in the industry that I'm in today, I was able to connect with the right people. My career started growing. I was a single mom at the time. And I'm like, okay, starving artist or grow in this field. <laughs> Uh, so, so for me, education, um, you know, so many people, you know, probably many people that you've talked to Gary as well, that are in the career they're in today, that's not what they originally sought out to do. You know, <laughs> some of us, some of us may have, you know, children that have gone off to college. Maybe we've been children that have gone off to college and sometimes we take a different turn. So I'll have people ask me, well, you know, do you, you know, do you miss, you know, not acting or, or any of that? I said, you know what, for me, all of those improv classes that I took, um, all of the uh, being able to take information and process it, it has helped me so much in what I do every day, being in front of very large groups of people at times to sometimes it just being one-on-one. -on -one. And so for me and, and sharing education with others, if, if you were to ever go into um, wanting to be a teacher or uh, a corporate trainer, I always give the advice, take an improv class. Um, you know, I know that uh, you and I both are friends with Joel Zepp, and it's one of those where when you're able to kind of think on your feet and be able to respond at naturally to whatever is said, you know, it's kind of that yes rule, like yes and. Uh -huh. And so it's always like, yes, and. And so I think with education, it's the same way to hmm. where uh, to be open to uh, have conversations with people and and to learn from them, uh, you know, kind of going back to what we were talking about, the process of life or well, the process of education is the same way. You know, we live in a generation to where everything needs to be faster. Um, you know, if my internet's slow, it's like, oh, wait a second, I had a my, mini second delay on something, what's going on? Uh, and so we can get caught up in that trap of everything has to happen so fast for us. But sometimes when it comes to learning and the development of ourselves, it's a process. So it's about A, in my, in my personal opinion, connecting yourself with the right people that, mm -hmm. uh, that you see are doing things very successfully. They're very well respected with others. They're respected in their company. And so that is where you're gonna get your first education. And then they will help guide you. You know, I even just had this myself the other day. I was talking about even broadening my HR uh, knowledge because I've been uh, so in one little column over here in talent development for the last 20 years that as I grow on the back side of my life, what do I want to do? You know, sometimes we feel like, oh, I've learned everything there is to learn. There's nowhere else to grow. There's always room to grow. There's yeah. always room to grow. And so, uh, so, you know, just seeking advice from those who have already taken that route or taken that path. Maybe they have failed at things and are like, you don't want that certification or I don't think you'll learn as much in that area. Uh, you know, take this. So, uh, so, Seek advice from those people you trust mm -hmm. on um, if you want to further your education, just because it's the glitzy thing that's online saying, oh, you know, sign up for this. It's $59.99 versus maybe spending $100 on something that's going to be yeah. so much more beneficial for you. So, uh, so education to me is something that is just foundational for your entire life. Oh, yeah. um, I don't think that any of us should ever stop growing and learning. Uh, you know, that is what keeps the excitement and what we do every day it keeps you from getting into some type of a slump because it doesn't mm -hmm. matter how long you've been doing something. Sometimes you're going to hit that lull where you're just like, okay, I'm on autopilot now. I've been doing <laughs> this for a while. What's my next big adventure? So yeah. my, my advice to anyone out there is, go for your next big adventure you know just when you just when you start getting comfortable uh -huh. go for, have the courage to go for your next big adventure oh so good there you are with that courage thing again not only is it the courage to go connect with somebody that you want to emulate or learn from but connect to find that adventure i think that's that or i'm sorry courage to go on that next adventure because that that keeps you on the edge of your seat that keeps you on your toes so you're not falling on resting on your laurels and just plateaued out. 
And I love that you are now exhibiting this example, even though you've probably mastered, you know, this, where you're at now with the talent developments and everything. Now you're like, what else can I explore? What else can I do? And you're connecting with people to help you on that journey. So you're not going blind. There's, there's great people out there. And I, and I love, I want to tell a story just to, you know, give you some kudos. I worked with somebody that wanted to explore growing their career and learning new things. And I'm like, the perfect person for you to contact is Patty. And sure enough, you were so gracious to connect with this person, help them kind of uncover what's the next best certification for what he wanted to do. He was thrilled. He got it. He got a certification and he just started elevating his work. And it was because he connected, like you said, to the right person and he had the courage to ask and go on that journey. Well, I appreciate that, first of all. And and I will tell you that I've had individuals maybe that attend class, they're like, oh, I know this like the back of my hand or what more could I give? I will tell you what we can give. What we mm -hmm. can give is of ourselves because there are people who gave to me to help me learn to where I'm at. And once we've mastered or mastered something, <laughs> We are to tithe and give back to others that are growing and learning. So I had so many people in my life and I still have individuals in my life, you included, that inspire me, that have helped me grow along the way. So the, the right thing to do is mm -hmm. to give that knowledge back to others that are coming up behind you. And, and so to me, that's what it's all about. We're all in this together to help yeah. each other continue growing, whatever that path is, mm -hmm. you know? Oh so. my gosh. Patty is so good. I just, I love talking to you. I could talk to you for hours, but we're at the end of our time here. But before we wrap up, I wanted to give you an opportunity to share a closing thought with us. Yeah, I tell you what, my closing thoughts to you is just, or to, the, to everyone listening, is play it big because you will regret as you go toward the end of your life for not having the courage to step out and do the things that you wanted to do. You can do it. You can do it. Again, arm yourself with knowledge but surround yourself with the best people that are out there. So. Wow, wow. Have the courage, do it big, surround yourself with the right people. You can do incredible things. Patty, I love talking to you. You are so inspiring, guys. Uh -huh. Make sure you go follow Patty on LinkedIn. She is like beyond brilliant. Um, connect with her. She's just one of the most amazing humans, leaders that I've ever met. So please connect with her. Patty, thank you so much for joining us today oh on the gosh, Super Fantastic it's an Exchange. It's honor to be on your show, <laughs> Gary, and right back at you, my friend. I adore you, and I'm excited to see what's what's happening for you as well. So. Thank you so much, ma'am. And we will see you on the next episode. Thank you.